Good evening. It's the end of the road for another component of Western New York's auto industry. American Axle is shutting down its last local manufacturing plant in Chictawaga. And that's where senior correspondent Rich Newber is live tonight. Rich? Well, Jackie, the Walden Avenue plant here will close at the end of February, ending jobs for close to 90 people. The American Axle plant in Chictawaga has always been something of an experiment. Workers accepting deep wage and benefit cuts right from the start in order to save jobs. They mostly make gears for trucks. So they went from about $24 to $26 an hour down to around $14 per hour. And the reason was to try to keep more jobs in Buffalo and try to find ways to um, improve the competitiveness of the American Axle. Following a strike in 2008 at three Western New York American Axle facilities, the plants at East Delavan and the town of Tonawanda closed. And now the company is closing the Walden Avenue plant after workers said they could not give back any more. The issues on the table were many, but the ones that the union really pursued was to make sure that our membership was still able to put food on the families and afford a roof over our membership's house. One of the older workers here told me it's been difficult to see some of the new hires having to come to work in buses because he said they can't afford their own cars. It was necessary, says American Axle, that AAM achieve a standalone U.S. market competitive labor agreement. Unfortunately, says the company, AAM has not been able to accomplish this objective. Art Wheaton says American Axle's profits almost doubled last year, but that there has been a decline in demand for the products produced at the Chictawaga plant. The demand for trucks and the major parts has been declining, and all of the suppliers have been trying to reduce costs. Now, union leader Ed McGowan told me tonight uh, the UAW is hoping that American Axle will grant its workers here fair severance benefits. Those would be the last negotiations for workers here. Reporting live in Cheektowaga, Rich Newberg for the 10 o'clock news.